Hi, I'm Tony, and in this video, we're going to run through Sports Bike Shop's top five adventure motorcycle helmets. It's been two decades now since Ewan McGregor and his mate Charlie Borman made the adventure motorcycle helmet officially a thing. They wore Arai Torcross helmets for their original round the world trip back in 2004, and helmets with a peak and a visor went from novelty to mainstream overnight. Like adventure bikes, adventure helmets are designed to combine elements of off road and road riding. From the world of dirt riding, we get the peak and room inside the eye port for a pair of goggles. And from the road riding side, we get a visor to keep out wind and rain. There's been a lot of change in the Adventure Helmet division recently, so we've updated our top five listing to reflect the new options on the market. The following five lids have all either become popular with Sports Bike Shop customers, or they've impressed us when we wore them for our in-depth review videos. Where we also have one of those full reviews available, you'll see a link to that popping up as we go through. So you can watch those for more details on the individual helmets. Right, let's get into it. Okay, let's start with the most popular adventure helmet with Sports Bike Shop customers. The Climb Krios Pro is loved by its owners for its lightweight, high levels of ventilation, a fancy light reactive visor and an easy peasy strap fastener. Of the first 38 customers to leave a review, 35 of them left a maximum five star rating. Carbon fiber shell on the Krios Pro goes down a storm for looks and it also contributes to a class low weight of 1320 grams. The standard visor is clear and there's an additional one in the box that automatically darkens in daylight to protect you against glare. It's easy to remove the visor and run with goggles instead and you can also take off the peak and run the helmet in street mode as well. The strap fastens using a magnetic fidlock fastener that pulls itself closed. Owners find it fiddly at first, but they do come to trust it quite quickly. All of these features mean this helmet isn't a budget option. The Krios Pro costs £660 as we record this, but the vast majority of owner reviewers say they're very happy with what they got for their money. The Scorpion ADF 9000 Air is one of the newest adventure helmets around and it's made a flying start on our customer reviews. Of the first 13 to review it, 12 of those gave the maximum five stars. This helmet has all sporty features like a composite fiber shell, a D-ring strap fastener. It's also got important touring functions like a drop down sun visor, which makes it the only helmet here to have one of those and a pin lock main visor. It's easy to fit goggles in and there's the option to remove the peak and still have the visor attached. That's handy on longer road rides as it will cut down on turbulence around the peak. When I wore this helmet for review, I didn't have many any dramas with the aero or with noise and I found this to be a very credible new adventure helmet option. The visor gives good peripheral vision, the sun visor doesn't mist and Scorpion's air fit system makes it easy to fine tune the fit around the cheeks. As we record this the ADF 9000 Air costs £299.99 in plain colours and £349.99 in graphics. At a penny under 200 quid, the Bell MX-9 Adventure MIPS makes it to our list as the most popular budget choice. This latest model is approved to the new ECE 2206 safety standard, but it's virtually identical to its predecessor, which we reviewed back in 2021. That one picked up a credible average rating of 4.6 from 91 customer ratings, and this one's got something none of the other helmets in this video have, a MIPS liner. That's a thin plastic liner inside that reduces the effects of a glancing blow if you're ever unlucky enough to crash. This helmet has a plastic shell, which often means a heavy helmet, but at just under 1700 grams for this size medium it's not as bad as some might think. It's based heavily on Bell's MX-9 motocross helmet so it tips more to the dirt riding end than the other helmets here. It's easy to wear with goggles rather than the visor and there's also a street mode that's riding with the visor attached and the peak removed. The visor it's got an anti-fog coating rather than a pinlock insert. It's not as effective in bad weather but it does improve clarity of vision in all other riding conditions. The Arai Torcross series of helmets kind of started all this adventure lid business in the first place and this is the latest version. The Arai Torcross 5 replaced the very popular TX4 and it's got some significant changes. You get the traditional safety first approach that Arai pride themselves on with a stiff composite fibre shell that allows a softer EPS impact liner on the inside. You can now change or remove the visor without unscrewing the peak and risking losing those screws which is a definite bonus. The visor also has a flatter profile than the previous helmet which means the pin lock sits more easily on the inner surface and it gives better optical clarity. In our review we found this helmet works well with either visor or goggles in place and street mode lets you ride without the peak which did vibrate slightly when we reviewed this lid. As we record this the Torcross 5 is so new there are only three customer reviews but all three are five star reviews. The premium quality does come at a price. As we record this it's £599.99 for plain colours and £699.99 for graphic designs.
This is going to be the Shoei Hornet ADV's final year in the Shoei range. This helmet's approved to the older ECE 2205 safety standard and Shoei are relying on stock that's already been imported to tide them through until a new model is released. I've personally got no concerns about the protection levels from a 2205 helmet like this. Plenty of older models are passing the new test with minimal or even no changes. The Hornet has a composite fibre shell, a peak that's designed to cut through the air with minimal disruption and it's got a classy comfort lining as well. It's been well regarded by owners who appreciate the comfort, the aerodynamic performance, good ventilation and strong vision through the visor. The first 67 customers to review their Hornet gave an average rating of 4.7 stars out of 5. There's no sun visor which does upset some owners and there's not a very slick way of riding with the peak removed which does reduce versatility. Build quality is typically high for a Japanese brand and the Hornet ADV's list price starts at £479.99 going up to £569.99 for graphic designs. Okay, so that's our take on the five best adventure helmets on the market right now. If you think of adventure helmets as sitting on a scale from road helmet with a peak through to motocross helmet with a visor, then you can get an idea of which suits you best. If you ride mostly off-road, but you want a visor for occasional road rides, then the motocross end makes more sense. At that extreme, there's the Bell MX-9 Adventure MIPS. The MX part of the title is very appropriate, and there are fewer road luxuries than on the other helmets here. I personally think the Krios Pro is a little tilted towards the dirt side as well, though with more road luxuries than the Bell. If you only ever head on to dirt every so often then you're best off looking at the roady end really this is where i personally feel you'll find the showy hornet as i think it's towards the road end of the spectrum though it also works quite well with goggles for me the two prime all-rounders in our list are the arai torcross 5 and the scorpion adf 9000 air the arai is a premium helmet with great build quality and a softer impact liner which i think makes it more likely to be comfortable for a wide range of head shapes i wore one of those both on road and on the dirt and i was mostly impressed as you'll discover if you've watched the full review of that helmet. It's one of the priciest helmets here but it's an impressive lid if you can stretch to the £600 or more price tag. The Scorpion is more cost conscious but I found it worked well on both road and on dirt when I reviewed it and it's around half the price of the Arai. All of the helmets here are decent performance that have made their owners very happy. My advice is always the same when it comes to helmets. The best one is the one that fits you best. It'll annoy you less and it'll protect you better. Remember there are links to detailed reviews of each of these helmets in the description below, where you'll also find a link to show you all adventure helmets available on Sports Bike Shop. Right, that's me finished, finally. But as ever, if there's anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.